share before I start anything, a um, uh, uh, piece of blessings, eternal um, life uh, to uh, Baba Dick Gregory, uh, a giant among men. Um, my favorite two, actually about three, stories about Dick Gregory. One is when during the uh, 1968 uh, Democratic National Convention when all the, everybody was in the streets uh, protesting Mayor Daly and whatever have you. And he uh, and there was a thing where they couldn't march or something like that. So he told the crowd, "Oh no, you just walk into my house." He was living in Chicago at the time. Just walk to my house because you know one of his things was he was the first uh, black comedian, uh, comedian to really break through the nightclub circuit through via the uh, Playboy uh, Mansion or the Playboy the Playboy clubs. And so that was his you know his thing in the early in the early 60s. Anyway, so this is 68. He says, "Oh no, this is this time you walk into my house." With the little groups that was pretty funny. And if his his best joke ever, I should say it this way, but when he says, yeah, his wife's, uh, her name is Lucille. Another guy says, is, 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 uh, um, she says to her, yeah, Columbus discovered America. It's like me it's coming out and say, hey, let's, come on, let's discover this Cadillac here. You see, like that. But uh, one, of the, one of the things that Dick Gregory did that was very uh, interesting, but because at the same time that Dick Gregory was on the rise, there was a comedian named Godfrey Cambridge. Godfrey Cambridge, uh, you know him from, uh, he was in um, uh, that uh, great uh, film, um, Cotton Comes to Harlem, you know, from uh, uh, the guy was. Um, <coughs> This movie wrote a book, um, made a book on, on his on his life. Ah, I forgot the novel's name. I'll do this someplace. Um, anyway, it, uh, him and Godfrey Cambridge was the same profile. You know, they they were kind of hefty, and a little overweight. They drank a lot. You know, smoked a lot. Whatever have you. Dick Gregory stopped all that and changed. Godfrey Cambridge kept on that. Godfrey Cambridge um, uh, passed um, really early, in the early seventies, I suppose, in the seventies sometimes. Uh, and Dick Gregory went on to what he does, and he's always been an entrepreneur, so he made a lot of money. Dick Gregory is not a, it's not a, 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 it's not like one of these rappers where they sell him, you know, selling you vodka, whatever they're selling you, you know, some some sort of, you know, thing that's going to get you addicted, you know. He he basically uh, sold you nutritional stuff, something to sustain your life, not to not to make you shoot up everybody. So, so Baba Dick Gregory, <coughs> love and madly. Please don't pass this upon your eternal soul. Now, the last time I was, uh, I was talking about the last time, well, yeah, last time I was talking officially, uh, I, was, uh, I got interrupted by the events in Charlottesville, so I got torn off the uh, tangent. What I was saying is that I had come home one time and I was talking, there, there, there's a lot of young people around where, where I live, it's not a lot, but you know, a few, and you know, they're all uh, um, beyond their matric, beyond their high school age, you know, beyond high school graduation, and um, and most without jobs. And so they hustle where they can, they do the little, you know, dumb criminal things where they can, you know, like stealing off of students, you know, or cell phone or whatever it is. Um, then, you know, I was coming home one time and uh, there was a group of them, you know, about four or five, like that, and there was one older guy that I talked to, so so we was talking, we was talking about, about things that we always talk about, so the whole group was sort of listening. And so I was saying, but you know, things are not going to change, you know, uh, unless we make up our minds, you know, to, to just basically abandon this system and do it like that because, you know, the, the weight is against us. As I started talking, the, the other guys just took it away, so it was just me and him. I said, like a perfect example. I said, now, me and you are, are engaging in a conversation that may or may not, you know, be beneficial to whatever, you know what I mean? But it's, it's dealing directly with the community. Now, these are the four guys, you know, they, they don't drift away, they don't want to hear this conversation. So, even if, even if I convince you or if we convince each other that we should do something, we got to now convince these four other guys who don't want, they want to do the easier thing, they don't want to do this. So, our first problem is to deal with our own community and, and, and basically get the minds changed into another paradigm, but because of, you know, I'm going like, because of like marketing, you know, uh, because of, uh, of of this whole instant gratification, because of the, the the drug that is TV, I'm not just talking about alcohol and sugar and all the rest of that stuff. But the drug that is TV, people want things instantly. There's no patience to learn anything. So this is what we're all up against. I and mean, this tide, this other tide, let's call it the lazy tide, the lazy tsunami, if you will. They 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 they're basically going to going to win if we if we allow if if, if we don't do something, if we don't create. Uh, and, and it's a tsunami that's more attractive than that lazy tsunami, the easier thing to do. You know, and what's most disconcerting, I was going to, we're really going off now, the most disconcerting is that you have all these people, like say for instance, religious folks, 
who they're, they're waiting for some, they're waiting for a savior. It's like waiting for the good tsunami or something like that. Well, you know, wait all you want, but as you're waiting, these other forces keep on lining up, and this bad tsunami is, 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 is by the time the good tsunami comes, the bad tsunami will have much more power. That's the whole point of, the, of, of, the, of, of our little, of our little talk. So I don't know if we got it or not, but you know, um, uh, but the, 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 the conversation continues. But uh, what, one of the things I was telling him because he was he, this started off because he was talking about all oh, Trump and career and, 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 and whatever and like that. I said, would you stop listening to the news? Just stop. Just forget them. Just stop listening to news. Read a paper. So that even the newspapers, everything is is about you. Is what they call social engineering. You know, they they get you talking about that. I said, no, we waste our time talking about that rather than talking about doing something in our community. So this whole thing, these, these what I call distractions, you know, doing one thing on one hand while they're doing something on another hand, it's just, you know, it's, it's, you know, they're talking about Korea, but now um, they're going to raise more troops in Afghanistan. How long? I mean, it's the longest U.S. war in, in the history of U.S. wars is that Afghanistan. Why are we in Afghanistan? Only we get out of Afghanistan is poppies, it's, it's drugs, it's, it's, it's heroin. It comes out of Afghanistan. It's the only thing that's, that's coming out. Then, and, and as the mercenaries, you know, war goes from mercenaries now. Then what happens? Well, the mercenaries, what they do is they finance their war by the drug trade. So this thing is, it's, 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 it's never every second that we know what's wrong, but we don't have the will to do it because it's easier to let that stuff happen. It's easier to. And take that drug, or, you know, to do that, to do that deed, than to, uh, than to do a positive tsunami. And that's just um, a little dispatch from me, T. From the Patterson, taking the trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.